Hi, my name is Elizabeth Gordon, and I'm a senior technical support scientist here at Lycor. And I wanted to give you a brief overview of some of the options and features of the chemical columns on the back of your LI6800. If you're transitioning from the LI6400 to the LI6800, you'll notice that we have three columns now instead of two. And the reason we have three columns is that we have an extra column to add water. And I'll talk about that just in a bit. So you may not have all of these chemicals in your lab, but we wanted to give you an, an overview of all of them so that if you see them, you might, you're not confused about what is it and what do I do with that. So the, I'm gonna start with how we remove water. And we have two different chemicals that remove water uh, that you might see used with your LI6800. The most recent one is called Sorbid, and it is an orange indicating silica gel. Uh, we switched to Sorbid um, in April 2019 because uh, dry right, which is this one, uh, has been listed as a chemical of high concern by the European Union, and so as a result, we wanted to move away from that. Sorbide is uh, completely inert, it's just a silica gel, and um, it can be regenerated using the instructions on the cap. Um, so there are some real pros to it, but you shouldn't use it for zeroing your analyzers. Uh, it buffers CO2 and H2O a little bit too much for that, so it's not gonna be good for zeroing. If you did need to zero, then we would recommend that you consider still using dry right. And you may still have dry right on your instrument and have bottles of dry right in your lab. Uh, the indicating dry right that we used to use is blue when it's good, pink when it's bad, and gray when it needs to be thrown out. Um, the indicator on it is cobalt chloride, as I mentioned, and so uh, you would want to be careful when you're disposing of that. Check your local regulations, but it is very good for zeroing it, and you can still use it for uh, removing water from your airstream. It's still a good chemical for that. This one is just slightly less hazardous, so we moved away from dry right to sorbid. If we want to remove CO2, then we use soda lime, which we've been using for quite some time. And soda lime is kind of a creamy color when it is good and it turns a light purple when it's exhausted. If that happens, you can regenerate it with just a little bit of water, maybe 10 mils of any kind of water that you would drink. If you wouldn't drink it, don't put it in your chemical column. Um, and this also may need to be disposed of as a hazardous chemical. Uh, when it gets too much water in it, it can become corrosive. So check your local regulations on that. And then the third column that we added for the LA6800 allows us to add water. And originally, the LA6800 was shipping with Stuttgarter Masse, which is an unfired ceramic material uh, that is white when it's dry and kind of a light gray when it's wet. Uh, and to use it, what we do is we add between 10 and 30 mils of water to it, depending on whether it's completely dry or if it's just a little bit dry. And then once we add that water to it, we put it into the chemical column and it goes in the center here. Now the challenge of the Stuttgarter Massa, which we have seen occasionally, is that if you add a little bit too much water and your console is moved or shifted, uh, tilted, something like that, then uh, water can get into the console. And things that are designed to work with air don't generally like having water going through them. So that can end up being a problem for you that would require repair. So to kind of get around that, we are shifting to, in July 2020, a new kind of humidifier column. This is a tube full of Natheon tubing. And this Natheon tubing is a semi-permeable membrane that allows water vapor to diffuse through it. And when the water vapor diffuses through it, then it's in the air for us to work with. Um, again, we fill it with any kind of water you can drink, 
And the benefit of it is that this column is completely sealed, so I can turn it any way I like, and the water doesn't go anywhere, and it definitely doesn't go into my column. Now, the Nafion uh, should not be used if you are experiencing large, fast temperature changes. Say you are doing a very quick temperature response curve because it does buffer water a little bit slower and you may find that your temperature and humidity response is not as fast. However, um, we thought that this would be a better way, uh, especially since you'd never have to replace the Nafion tubing. You just add more water that you would drink to the column and off you go. So if you did need to replace uh, your chemical columns, put, the, put new chemicals in them, or add a little bit more water to your Nafion tubing, you would just do that. Here's your cap, you turn it over. It's flat, so it sits very nicely on any flat surface. And then you can unscrew this cap here, change the chemical as needed, add more water, close it, there's a little o-ring in there to make sure that everything is stays secure, doesn't leak. We flip it back over and then it just goes straight on here and this d-ring allows us to tighten it. And it's as simple as that. The main maintenance that you'll have with any of your chemical columns is that we do have these little mufflers in here, these little white sort of traffic code looking things and these take any dust out of the air that might be in our chemicals um, and keep that from going into our instrument so replacing these is very simple they're in your spares kit and you would just pry out the old one and put on the new one you might have to also change this little rubber attachment point that's pretty simple as well and then you push it right back in when you're done, you put it back on your chemical, on your console like this. And the last thing I want to mention is not exactly a chemical in this sense of the word, but it's still a chemical, and that is our CO2 cartridges. We use 8 gram CO2 cartridges in the Li6800 rather than the 12 grams in the 6400. And these are food grade CO2 cartridges, which means they should be available in most places in the world. Uh, if you are having a problem finding them in your area, let us know or let your local distributor know and we can possibly give you an idea of places that you might find it. Um, but generally we have found them to be much more available than the 12 gram cylinders and so that's one of the reasons that we switched. So that's a quick introduction to some of the chemical options and the purposes in your Li6800. If you have any questions, you can always check our manual uh, or the website. And if there are questions on there that the manual or website does not answer, please feel free to contact support or your local distributor and we'll be happy to help you.